Hi guys, so today we're going to be talking about the Lecou Cosmetics Peachy Keen Opaque Lip Paint. Um, now, this does come in incredibly cute packaging, but mine is a little bit battered because I actually picked it up on clearance in TK Maxx when I was wandering the other day. So it comes in this little box and it's got all these gorgeous vintage pictures on the side and you know it shows you how cute it can look on your dressing table. Now these are normally $12.95 um, but I only paid £3 for mine because it was in TK Maxx and it was on clearance because the box is a little bit busted and to be honest with you somebody had also already opened this and swatched it but only very lightly so I was still happy to buy it for £3 and just wipe the top layer off so that it would be hygienic for me to use. So packaging absolutely adorable um, we've got Lecou Cosmetics Peachy Keen written on the top and it's all in this nice baby blue colour um, with little flowers on the top it's absolutely adorable the container itself is done to look like kind of cut glass again all very cute would look amazing on your dressing table it is however plastic which means it's also safe for kind of carrying around in your bag and this is the colour here so this has got a nice fruity smell it's slightly verging on to being an artificial type scent but I have to say now that it's on my lips I don't really smell it so I'm going to insert a clip of me applying this product so that you can see how smoothly it goes on how opaque it is and then I'm going to come back and just kind of see how this holds up uh, with how long it'll last Okay, so let's get about applying this um, lip paint. So I'm just using an Ella Masca lip brush. I actually have two of these. Um, one came in a set and one I've got the kind of covered one that you can carry with you. So straight away this is very pigmented, very creamy, very pretty. A little bit goes a long way with this. Which is good. So I think this is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous colour. So I'm going to see how long this lasts. It is currently um, 10 to 2 just before, um, you probably can't see that. I am going to hang about, wear this, just see how long it lasts, how comfortable it is as I wear it, whether my lips feel drier or more moisturised, all that good stuff that you want to know about a lip product. So I will be back soon, hopefully not too soon, um, and we'll see how we get on. Okay, so I am back from my final check-in. The time is now 16.25, meaning that this has basically been on my lips for 2 hours and 40 minutes. I had a little look on Google and Centelia has some great kind of um, statistics and figures on how long people find their lipstick lasts. And it seems that the vast majority of people, so 38%, find that it lasts between 1 and 2 hours. So, so far we are above the kind of average for lipsticks. Then I believe it was the next 30% it lasts between two and three hours, so we're still quite firmly going as we approach the three hour mark. And then after that it kind of drops into the lower percentage of, you know, I can't remember the figures, but I'll put the links down below just in case you're interested because I found it quite interesting to actually look at. So I'm going to zoom in just so that we can properly see what we've got here. 
So overall it still looks like I'm wearing a nice lipstick. There's tiny little patches where you can see my natural lip colour kind of peeking through. Um, it hasn't really feathered at all. I think I've still got a nice sharp lip line from it. Um, and yeah, I do have these little kind of dry patches here, but if I'm honest, they were there before. And I'm going to zoom out because this is making me think about Rocky Horror, and that's weird. Okay, so back out from the Rocky Horror intro. Um, overall, the formula I have no issues with. I don't feel like it's really added any moisture to my lips, but to be honest, I don't get into cosmetics expecting them to do that. I don't expect my lipsticks to do that. But at the same time, it hasn't made them any drier than they started off with, which is totally fine with me. Um, I feel the wear time on this has been pretty good, especially considering it's not one of those liquid lipsticks that sets down and is meant to last for hours and hours and hours. So I'm quite happy with the wear time on this so far. I wouldn't necessarily feel like I had to touch it up at this point, but if I was in a place where I was able to do a touch up, I probably would just to kind of like fill in those little gaps that we had. So that brings me to my one and only downside to this product, which is when you need to touch up. So obviously you've got your product and then you need to take the lid off and then you may or may not have somewhere that you're happy to put this down. Uh, a lot of kind of public bathrooms have like that slight flooding issue around the sink and I don't really like putting my stuff down there. Then you've obviously got your brush and then if you're somewhere that has a mirror, you're absolutely fine. If you're somewhere that you don't have a mirror, you've run out of hands. So it's a tiny, 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 tiny downside, but potentially it would affect days I would be willing to wear this. Um, if I thought it was going to be out and about somewhere where I would need to check my lipstick in a compact mirror, this would obviously be really awkward or you would be basically kind of loading up your brush, closing it, tidying it away and then taking your mirror out and then going in and hoping that you don't need it anymore. So it's not impossible to use it on the go but it's going to be a little bit more awkward, a little bit more time consuming than if you just have you know a lipstick bullet and you can one hand for the mirror, one hand for the bullet. So if you've got any questions please don't hesitate to leave them down below. All in all, I love this product, it's definitely a good buy. I will be looking at buying the other colours in the range, specifically the red, because I love me some red, and I definitely want to try the black Cadillac liner as well. Um, if you have any preference for if you would like to see the black Cadillac liner reviewed, maybe put up against like Black Track from MAC, which is like, you know, kind of well-known, um, black eyeliner that I think a lot of people have tried or know somebody that loves and things like that. So if you leave any questions, any comments, any requests down below, please do hit the like button, please also subscribe and I will be back over the weekend with another DIY it or buy it and back on Monday with another review. So I will catch you guys later. Bye!